Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. Before I begin, I just want to say my thoughts are with everybody affected by this horrific uh, weather, natural disaster uh, that we're having right now. Um, it's just shocking. You know, I've been watching it all unfold on the news and I just cannot begin to imagine, you know, what it's like to be in that situation. So um, I just wanted to say that before I started my video. I'm not going to go into it too much because uh, I just feel like it will, you know, put a bit of a dampener on the mood of the video and, um, you know, I want the video to be, you know, fun and happy, so I don't want to go on about it too much, but I just wanted to acknowledge it at least. I didn't want to just come on here, start my video and not even saying anything. So, uh, like I said, my thoughts and prayers are with everybody affected, um, you know, I, like I said, I just can't begin to imagine what it must be like to go through that, um, but yeah. So, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be talking about products that I have spent quite a lot of money on. They're supposed to be, you know, amazing brands, high-end brands, luxury brands, designer brands, um, and just I have been underwhelmed uh, by their performance. So, I'm going to start with, and I can't quite believe I'm going to say this, but I'm going to start with Le Mer. Um, I have always said that Le Mer is one of my favourite, you know, luxury brands. Um, and, you know, it has been one of my favourite brands for a long time, but you get to a point when you go, okay, do I really like the products or is it just the hype? And I do think that I've been sucked into the hype and, you know, because I've now got a couple of products that I'm not that impressed with after using them for quite a while. So, um, yes, unfortunately, I can't quite believe that I'm saying Le Mer because I have always, you know, praised the brand. But, you know, I'm going to be honest in this video. So, the first product is Creme de la Mer by La Mer. Oops. So, as you can see, here's the box and the little jar. Um, now, initially when I bought this, I did absolutely love it. Um, you warm it up in your fingers and then you pat it into the skin. Um, so, it does feel very kind of pampering, you know, you're kind of putting it into the skin very delicately, very gently. It takes a lot longer than if you just you know, applied a normal face cream as you can just quickly rub that into your skin and go. This is, you know, warm it up first and then pat it in. Initially I liked that because it felt like, you know, I was prolonging, prolonging the experience of applying the face cream, you know, so I was getting that little bit extra time to, to spend doing my face cream to enjoy the luxury product. That's what it kind of feels like when you first get this. Um, but after a while it's quite annoying because when you're in a rush you just don't want to sit there and warm it up and pat it into the skin you just want to apply it and go and I actually prefer to apply my face cream and massage it into my face that's just what I prefer to do um yeah so this whole patting it in I find a little bit annoying um also the real reason that this has made it to my list unfortunately is because it makes my skin really oily and greasy um it seems to just leave a residue on my skin once it's sunk in um, it still leaves a residue of just like a greasy residue, that's all I can say really. Um, I have heard a lot of people say it gave them spots, which I can imagine it's a very thick cream. If you have oily skin, definitely avoid it. Um, you know, it will just make your skin even worse. Um, I kind of have combination skin, but my skin can get really, really dry. Um, and I suffer from psoriasis, and on my psoriasis patches, it actually really, really helped. Um, so I thought that was amazing and I have done videos on that before um, but just as a normal face cream for the price the, the cheapest you can get this for is about $150 for the smallest size running up to the thousands you know for the large sizes so I just don't think it's worth it if it's going to leave your skin quite greasy um, it's not worth it to me at all okay so there's that one Unfortunately, I'm going to say Le Mer again for my second product, um, and this is, there's only one reason why I'm going to say that, because some of you guys might be quite shocked that I'm going to, to bring this product to this video, um, and this is the Le Mer Foundation. Now, the reason, there's only one reason why I don't think it's worth the money, um, and that is it has a scent that is so strong that when you wear this, or for me personally, when I wear this, I can smell this foundation all day until the moment I take it off. 
and I've never experienced that before with a foundation, with any makeup actually. You know, usually, you know, when you apply your face cream that might have a scent to it, I actually really like scented products, so it's not that, I don't have an issue with that. Um, but usually, when you, after you've applied it, the scent settles down. I've never experienced any product where I can smell it all day long. Um, but this, it, there's something in here, and when I find out what it is, I will update in the description below. Um, but there's something in here, it's so strong. It's not unpleasant, but it's just so strong. I honestly, it's quite distinctive. I, I feel like I recognize the smell, um, but I don't know what it is, um, which isn't helpful. But it is such a strong scent. Now this is $110, um, yeah, $110. And it is just, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's lovely packaging. It does apply nicely on the skin. It does give an amazing finish. But when I can smell it on my skin all day, it was actually got to the point where it's giving me a headache and I just wanted to get it off my face because I just couldn't stand smelling it all day, every day. Um, it was just ridiculous. I don't know why it's so strong. I don't know why I can smell it all day. Like I said, I've never experienced this before. Um, but you imagine it's around your nose, it's across here. So if it's got a strong scent, you are going to be able to smell it. But the fact that the smell holds itself all day long until you remove it, I just think is kind of crazy. I don't think it's necessary. I don't know why it needs to be such a strong scent in a foundation. It's not a perfume, it's foundation. So I don't know why it is so strong. Um, it's really bugging me because I don't know what the scent is, but I do recognize it. It's just so strong and it's, it's not that pleasant, it's not awful, but it's not something you want to be smelling all day. It's just too much. So unfortunately, if they brought this back out without the scent, it would be one of my favorite foundations. But as it is, it's in this list because I don't want to pay $110 for a foundation that absolutely stinks. So uh, that one's in the list. Okay, next up, I'm going to be talking about this YSL mascara. I don't know the actual name of it. If I find out, what does it say? I don't know what that says. Volume effects, I don't know. Um, yeah, so this YSL mascara, um, if I find out the name, I will link it below. I'm gonna put the details to everything below anyway. Um, but yes, this is the, it's kind of like rose gold at the bottom and then yellow gold at the top. Um, this found this not foundation. <laughs> we've moved on. Wrong mascara. So this mascara, um, I actually love the look that this gives my lashes. So you're probably thinking, why is it on your list then? Um, but this mascara is over thirty dollars, um, which isn't a crazy price, but it's still, you know, it's not cheap. Um, and it does make your lashes look amazing. So okay, so why is it in the list? Well, for me, it gives me panda eyes every single time I wear it. And I don't want to be having to check in the mirror every single time I have my mascara done. It's just too much. Um, if you're paying 30 something dollars for a mascara, for a designer mascara, you want it to last, you want to be able to trust that it's not gonna move, it's not gonna clump. Um, like I said, it makes my lashes look amazing, but within a couple of hours, and it doesn't matter what technique I try to stop the, you know, it from shifting onto my skin, it happens every single time to the point where I've had to stop wearing it. And it's so annoying because I did really love it, but it gives me panda eyes every single time. So I will not be buying it again and I'm, I've just stopped using it. So that's in my list. Okay, next up we have this by Lancome. Now this is, you know, this was dubbed the world's most beautiful highlight. Um, and I do agree, it is very, very, very beautiful. Um, I believe this is was $65. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself below, but I believe it was. Uh, it is very beautiful, yes. But the reason it's in my list is because the quality of the product is terrible. It is basically like talcum powder. Um, it's not even like a highlight, it's literally like a whitey, pale pink shade. Um, there's hardly any product, can't even swatch it because it's rubbish. Um, there's hardly any product um, in here. The quality of the product is terrible. Um, and then I thought, okay, so you're basically paying, you're not paying for the product, you're paying for, you know, the box, it's a collector's piece. Which is true, but then when you figure out it's just a cardboard box with a plastic flower in the bottom, um, it makes you think, okay, so why have I spent so much money on it? Um, it's really not worth it at all. It's not even a 
a quality product. It's very lightweight, it's very flimsy, and it's just not worth it. Um, so yeah, that made my list as well. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye!